The inhabitants of Easter Island developed a writing system called Rongorongo. Only a few dozen monuments with texts engraved on them have survived to this day. The writing has not yet been deciphered and its origin is also unclear. But in new research, scientists have determined that Rongorongo may be much older than previously thought. Easter Island is called Rapa Nui in the local language. It is one of the most isolated places on Earth. The nearest inhabited island in Polynesia is about 2,000 kilometers away. And the mainland, South America, about 3,600 kilometers away. This island located in the Pacific has an area similar to Katowice. It was discovered by Europeans only in 1722 on Easter Sunday. Hence it's today's name. The island, inhabited by ancient Polynesians, has long been perceived as a place full of puzzles and secrets. It is associated primarily with monumental Moai statues which depict silhouettes of people with large heads. They have become a symbol of the island due to their characteristic appearance. Another mystery is the unique Rongorongo script used on Rapa Nui. It is an ideographic writing, similar to hieroglyphs. It consists of symbols. But other Polynesian peoples did not have their own writing system. So why did it appear on one of the most lonely islands in the world? Science has not yet found the answer to this question. About 25 wooden artifacts have survived to this day. With texts carved in the Rongorongo script. Scientists believe that only the elite knew the writing system. After the arrival of Europeans, his knowledge was quickly forgotten. Moreover, the entire community suffered serious damage from contacts with Europeans, mainly through disease epidemics. But slave traders also entered the island and kidnapped the island's inhabitants. Scientists have been studying the writing for decades, but so far they have not been able to decipher it. The mysterious writing is completely unlike any other known form of text suggesting it may represent an independent writing system unique to this island. So far, the prevailing view was that the writing was created after contact with Europeans, which was believed to be the stimulus for its development. This is due to the fact that the first Europeans did not notice that local inhabitants used writing. This was noticed only in 1864. In new research published in the journal Scientific Reports, scientists have determined that the earliest examples of Rongorongo were created before the arrival of Europeans which seems to support the idea that writing was invented locally. The authors of the new research indicate that, the preserved texts are relatively long and written using pictorial signs. Rongorongo character shapes represent different classes of images, such as human postures and body parts, animals, plants, tools, celestial bodies, etc. Point out the authors in scientific reports.
In the publication, scientists also point out the similarities of Rongorongo with ancient motifs carved in the local rocks by ancient artists. This interpretation suggests that the Rongorongo script may be one of the few examples of writing invented completely independently, as was the case in Mesopotamia, Egypt, or China. To date, only two wooden artifacts with examples of Rongorongo have been dated. They came from trees cut down in the first half of the 19th century, when contact with Europeans had already been established. The new study Radiocarbon dated four more artifacts that missionaries took from the island in 1869 and are now kept in Rome. The results showed that three of them were made of wood from trees felled in the 19th century, but the fourth artifact is several hundred years older. The wood on which the Rongorongo signs are carved comes from a tree cut down between 1493 and 1509. This is at least 200 years before the arrival of Europeans, suggesting that writing may indeed have been created in complete isolation. Interestingly, this intriguing artifact was made from a species of tree called Podocarpus latifolia, which does not grow on Easter Island. According to scientists, such wood has been usually used to build ship masts since the Middle Ages. Perhaps a piece of it was washed up on Easter Island and the inhabitants made use of it. But research doesn't actually confirm that the writing system was developed before the arrival of Europeans. They only show when the tree with Rongorongo inscriptions written on its wood was cut down. This piece of wood might as well have been floating around the world for 200 years until it ended up on an island. However, if research confirms that this writing is older than the contacts of the island's inhabitants with representatives of Europe, it will be another independent invention of writing in the history of mankind. This would put the Rapa Nui people in the same league as the ancient Sumerians, Egyptians and Chinese who developed their own unique writing system. Expert. We know more and more about the aging process of batteries. Creating an immortal battery is not yet possible, but scientists are trying to design it to age slower. Professor. Christoph Fitch from the Poznan University of Technology is implementing an ERC proof-of-concept grant for a project related to the aging of batteries used in personal electronics. The aging process of batteries is still not fully understood. Researchers want to know if it is possible to create an immortal battery, one that does not wear out. For now, they have taken a step forward thanks to operando methods, which allow them to closely observe the consumption process during battery operation in real time. The most visible effect of this research is the qualitative leap in the performance and functionality of mobile phones in recent years. Professor Christoph Fitch from the Poznan University of Technology has been interested in the aging process of batteries for many years. He has already completed one grant from the European Research Council ERC, which allowed him to better understand the aging process of electrodes. 
Now he is implementing the second ERC proof of concept grant to commercialize the research results. Thanks to the first ERC grant, implemented in 2017 to 2023, we found out what happens to the electrolyte and electrode of the device and why they undergo specific changes. We also know how much the method of use affects the speed of the aging process. My team and I proposed directing the chemical reaction to a different track, which enabled the development of a different energy storage technology. I always emphasized that it was basic research that led me to develop an idea that aroused business interest, notes Professor Christoph Fitch. He compared the aging process of batteries to the aging process of human skin. We would like to create an immortal battery, but for now we only know that batteries are like human skin. They have to age. However, thanks to basic research, we know that they can be designed to age slower, says Fitch. Under the new grant, scientists will check whether a battery with an improved energy storage process can be commercially attractive. They will also use base materials other than the most common, lithium-ion. The amount of available materials is large. It may be sodium or potassium. Very interesting technologies are being developed on their basis on Asian and American markets. Polyvalent metals, such as zinc, are also involved. Zinc or zinc air cells are materials whose history is well known. Maybe it's time for a new version, predicts Fitch. He also states that, it is not the case that after 18 months of the project, we will have a product ready for sale that will revolutionize the market. During these 18 months, we will verify basic research. This grant is designed with cooperation with business in mind. The scientist also emphasizes that the results of his research are also of a strategic nature. The electronics market is dominated by one type of battery, lithium-ion, which makes the European Union's economy dependent on powers such as China. Battery components are a critical element for many countries. We can imagine what would happen if China stopped exporting battery components tomorrow. We would have a serious economic crisis. Because at the moment there is no ready technology that could replace lithium-ion cells, emphasizes Fitch. In Europe, we already know that lithium is not our future. Because this raw material is not available in Europe. In addition, there are environmental protection issues when it comes to over-exploitation due to the huge demand for only one raw material. My team and I are proposing solutions that may not yet make us independent from lithium. But they show that we can use other energy storage processes known in science in a different way to end the dominance of lithium, he adds. Work on discovering the immortality of batteries is also important, among others, from the point of view of the development of space and military technologies. In batteries that are used for military purposes or space travel, we want to make sure that the battery will keep us connected even for several years. Because if we plan a mission for five years, and after two years it turns out that the battery is worn out, the battery will become the main break on the development of space missions and space exploration, explains Fitch.